guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video this is the last video that i'll be filming in this house in terms of like a sit down video with this backdrop in my old bedroom because we're finally moving but that's not the purpose of this video the moving vlogs will be coming very soon so i am well and truly in my soft girl clean girl glass skin minimal era and i have tiktok to blame for that because i just buy self-care items all day every day at this point and i felt like it was appropriate for me to share all of my little products which i love to give me that natural no makeup makeup look to look after my skin to look after my hair just like how I get ready for an average day these days because full faces of makeup are just not a vibe for me right now. This is pretty much it. So I'm going to show you one of my really quick easy makeup looks which is kind of just my go-to if I feel like I need a little bit of something on my face and I want to add a bit of product but I want to keep it really natural. I want to keep it that like glass skin TikTok trend. If you haven't seen that, search glass skin on TikTok. It's a vibe, trust me. I also want to show you some other bits and bobs because I did a big order from Look Fantastic this week and I am very happy to say Look Fantastic are sponsoring this video. They are literally my go-to for beauty. Like if I need some more makeup, I go to Look Fantastic. If I need some more hair care, I go to Look Fantastic. Like they're just like your one-stop shop for pretty much everything, beauty, hair care, body care related. You can get everything on there and I feel like there's always new stuff added every single time that I go on. I could just sit and scroll for hours. I actually just picked up a neon candle for the new house which I'm really excited about but I'm going to keep it fresh for the new bathroom. I got the de-stress scent which is going to go on a little side table next to the bath. I'm just so excited. So yeah thank you to Look Fantastic for sponsoring this video. I've been a customer four years so I'm super excited to be working with them on this video. I'll leave my discount code on screen and I will leave links to all the products that I'm going to talk about down below because I'm pretty sure you are going to love them. First things first we're going to talk about a little bit of body care. So had a shower, exfoliated, shaved and then when I got out the shower the moisturiser which I used is this one. So this is from a brand called, can I pronounce this? Probably not. I'm not even going to try because I will 1 million percent say that wrong but there's a story about this moisturiser. So I actually got sent this moisturiser, but the original version in a PR package a good few years ago now. I used it and I noticed that the bumps that I used to get on my arms disappeared. Now, some of you might relate to this, some of you might not have heard of it, but I get little almost like, I wanna say chicken spots, but I don't think that's the technical term but I get these little bumps under my skin sometimes on my arms and I never really knew what it was from. I, I couldn't like put my finger on, for example, a food type that might have been causing it. I never really knew why they were there and they just come and go and they still that still happens. However, when I used that moisturiser, they disappeared. Like within days, they had disappeared and my skin was so smooth. Now I completely forgot about it and then my friend, who I'd been speaking to about my arms and how I'm conscious of them because they get these little bumps sometimes. Um, and she said to me, have you tried this moisturiser? And I was like, oh my God, I completely forgot about that moisturiser and the fact that it literally cured the bumpiness on my arms and made my skin so smooth. So when I was on Look Fantastic the other day, I searched for it again and I realised that they now do different scents. So I got the vanilla and tonka scent which is one of my favourite scents ever. Like I love that type of like musky, um, almost sexy, can I say a body cream that gets rid of my little spots on my arms is sexy. I don't know, but oh my God, it just smells gorgeous. So I thought I'd try this one and it is 10 out of 10 from me. So it actually says on the box that it is a specialist skincare for bumpy skin, dry skin, dehydrated skin, rough skin and ingrown hairs. So not only is it like smelling amazing and leaving your skin looking really glowy and moisturised, it actually feels like it's doing what a moisturiser is supposed to do and it's not just full of like overly scented um, like additional products that are just going to not be good for your skin. If you are the same as me and 
you have rough skin on your arms or even anywhere on your body or you just want a really good hydrating moisturiser please try this because it is insane and they've got loads of different scents so i'm gonna have to give them a go another body product for moisturized gorgeous glowy skin which i've used again for years now and picked up a new one is this oil so this is the nux body oil this is just the nicest smelling thing oh my god it smells like a spa now this again comes in loads of different ones but i actually prefer just the original which is this one i put it on my chest when i get out of the shower put it all over my body sometimes underneath moisturizer then i'll put my moisturizer on top or sometimes i just use the oil but it is just incredible so hydrating leaves your skin really glowy i'll also use this before night out on my legs to give you that extra like glowy shine which when you take photos with this on your chest or your legs you're glowing to the gods let me tell you that so that's like my standard get out of the shower routine oil moisturize deodorant be literally smothered in all the goodness and then every single time when i get out of the shower or the bath i use this now if you haven't seen this go viral on tiktok you're missing out please get it so i just picked up this one and when i unboxed it i literally was like wow because I just ran out of this as you can see I've literally got the tiniest bit at the bottom and I didn't realise that I'd ordered the larger bottle I didn't even know it came in a larger bottle I am very happy because this lasts me so long because I literally only use it when I get out of the shower or bath every day spray one spray is enough because it is so strong it is the most unreal smell ever it smells like holiday in a bottle I'm addicted. I got my friend it for her birthday because she used it and she was like, Dion, that is the best smelling thing I've ever smelled. So I had to get her it too. But now I've got the bigger bowl and I've got a restock because I was really worried what I was going to do when it ran out. It is incredible. I don't even think I've said what it is. It's the Sol de Janeiro. De Janeiro. You know the bum bum cream that everybody loves in the orange tub? It's from the same brand. So imagine that moisturiser mixed with this. Okay, moving on to hair care. If you can't tell, I've currently got a hair mask in. It's kind of just like an ongoing thing right now that I have a hair mask in pretty much all the time. It's hair wash day tomorrow, so I always do this routine the day before. Hair wash and then I'll sleep with it like this, wash it out the next day. So, on my scalp, I've got the Miel rosemary oil again another tiktok tiktok influences me so much i end up buying everything this is the rosemary oil so there's actually quite a few products from this brand on look fantastic so i'm gonna try some more and if anybody else has tried any let me know your thoughts this is the oil that went viral on tiktok for helping your hair grow and i am a hair growth kind of gal always looking for anything to grow thick healthy voluminous dense beautiful head of hair so gave that a go I've been using it for a few weeks now and I honestly think I have seen a difference it just feels thicker and when I wash my hair it's so shiny and then on my ends an absolute all-time fave of mine I don't know how many times I have spoke about this on my channel on my Instagram it is my absolute favorite hair mask in the world the grow gorgeous intense thickening hair and scalp mask it smells like sexy boy oh it is just the best hair mask in the world this transformed my hair i've used it for years it makes my hair grow thick it makes my hair super shiny i never use conditioner because this smooths my hair it is just the best thing ever and these two as a combo work amazingly a new hair care product which i've picked up and not tried yet but i've heard brilliant things about so i wanted to share it is the ordinary multi-peptide serum for hair density Again, I've seen people talking about this. It's meant to be great for growing thicker hair, but I was going to put this on and try it today. But it says to add it to clean hair and leave it in, like you don't need to wash it out. So I'll probably use this in conjunction with my Grow Gorgeous Intense Scalp Serum Drops and see how I get on with it. I will let you all know, but I'm excited to try this. Okay, now on to makeup and skincare. I'm actually going to the cinema tonight leaving the hair mask in because I've got no shame I'm out here being a self-care queen so if you don't like my rosemary oil grow gorgeous hair mask bun Nando's and cinema 
that's a you problem. So I am going to do a light little bit of makeup though, just to make myself feel a little bit more presentable. I picked up some new bits. I've got some old faithfuls to share with you. All that's available on Look Fantastic. And this is like my no makeup makeup. Feel a little bit more put together than just a blank face. Starting off with a product, again, that I've spoke about so much. It's the Ren Tonic. Again, I'm at the very... I've actually just ordered a new one, which is on its way. Um, so I'm just going to use the last of this little travel one, which has been so handy. This has came so many places with me on holiday this year, and it still lasts, and I take it every time I go to London. I just put it on a cotton wool pad. And just rub it all over my face so this is their ready steady glow aha tonic the glow that this gives your skin is incredible it leaves your face feeling so clean and fresh like it just instantly makes my skin look so much brighter i looked so dull before and i just love it it's my favorite i've honestly gone through bottles and bottles of this i do love all ren products but this is my absolute favourite. I use it every single day on a morning. I do think you can use it on a night as well, but I tend to just use it first thing on a morning after I wash my face. Another thing I picked up is a restock of the Walida Skin Food. I think that's how you say it. Walida. Walida. Who knows? But the Skin Food is the best base for your makeup ever. It's very thick, let me tell you that. So when it comes out, you can see that is a thick moisturiser. It's not running or going anywhere. So you only need a little bit. I put it on my face and then just work it in. It is so thick. It is so hydrating. And look at the glow it leaves on your skin. It is just the nicest makeup base. But equally, if I'm having a no makeup day and my skin feels a little bit dry, especially in these colder months, I put this on and it just feels incredible on your skin. You can also get it in a lighter one. Um, so if you maybe have oily skin, which to be honest, I do, but it still works amazingly. But if you don't really like a thick, heavy moisturizer, maybe try the lighter one, because that might be a little bit more suited to your skin. But this is my absolute favorite base before makeup um, moisturizer. Okay, before we go into skin, I'm just gonna use my Got To Be Glued brow and edge serum i just use this to put all my brows in place should i zoom you in a little bit there we go that's a little bit better but yeah this just keeps my brows in place okay i rarely wear foundation these days but i do like to go in with a little bit of concealer just to add coverage under my eyes and brighten them a little bit and i'm going in with the radiant creamy concealer from nars in shade custard this is a favourite of mine because it's not too bright, um, which for a more natural, everyday look, I just want it to be a little bit brighter under my eyes, but not super white. And then I like to just use my finger to just blend that in. I like using my finger as it just makes it look a little bit more natural, and I feel like it's really easy to just buff it in. I'll also use that to go over any spots or any imperfections, but... My skin's actually looking quite clear right now that I don't really feel like I need to. I think the key when I'm doing this, like glowy, natural, glass skin, no makeup, makeup look, how many words do we want to use a lot, is to use cream products. So I don't use any powder at all throughout this, um, even though I do get oily skin, but I use a very good setting spray to keep it all in place. So... Next up, I'm going in with the Clinique Chubby Stick. This is the Curvy Contour Shade 1. And just adding a little bit to the places that I contour. So my cheekbones, my forehead, and down the sides of each nose. And I'll just do a tiny little bit on my jaw as well. But again, a little bit goes a long way. And you can also build this up and add more and keep blending it out i also picked up some new brushes from look fantastic because mine are all looking a little bit grubby and i feel like i just needed a nice new set and these rose gold real technique ones were so affordable for how many brushes you get so you get two four six eight nine you get nine brushes for your face and your eyes and these are fab i think i'm gonna go in with this little fluffy one just to keep the product exactly where I want it. So it's a nice little fluffy brush and I'm just gonna begin to blend that in.
giving you a really nice natural contour. I'm never super precise with blending this in because I don't want that chiselled contour look. I just want to look a little bit more bronze, almost like I've fake tanned my face and just a little bit more sculpted than I did before. Like I said, you can add more product if I feel like I want a little bit more depth and a little bit more coverage and just blend it out. And that is the bronzer all blended out. And then for blush, again, going in with a cream-ish product and keeping it really natural, I'm going in with the Benny Tint Blusher. This is a rose tinted lip and cheek stain. So it kind of comes on this little brush and it's like a liquid. It just blends so nice. So I just put two on each cheek and a little bit on my nose. And then using my fingers, I just literally dab this in. This looks gorgeous with no makeup under either. It just adds that really nice rosy sun-kissed look to your cheeks almost makes you look a little bit flushed but i love that i love a strong blush and this one is so blendable how nice is that color so you could also use this on your lips um because it is a lip tint as well and it could tie it all in but my lips are already quite rosy and when i'm going for this like no makeup makeup look i don't really like to add a lot of color um which you'll see when i get onto my lips but that is just the nicest easy blush to blend in the world. The highlight again I'm going in with a classic and it is the Iconic Highlight Drops. These have been drops that I've used for a long time. I mix and match between a few different ones um, but these are ones that I always gravitate back to. It's the Illuminator Drops so I just like to add a few drops to the back of my hand and then it's easy to work in and build up. I find this is the best way to do it rather than going straight onto your face because sometimes it can be a bit heavy. But I just like to go in again with my finger, dab it in to my hand and then just work it in to the high points on my face. Kind of going in with the same fingers that I did to blend the blush because I just put all of these in the same place because you want it to look as natural and glowy as possible. Do we see the glow that that gives? It's just insane. Same again with this side, just taking my two fingers to really blend it in. And I go quite close to my eye as well, just because I feel like it looks very natural. I mean, that is incredible. I also like to take it on the tip of my nose and down the bridge of my nose and just really blend that in and a little bit on my Cupid's bow. I feel like that really just makes the glowy natural look all come together. Wow. Any excess product on my fingers, I like to just dab above my eyebrows just to like tie it all in, a little bit on my chin, basically all over my face. On my brows, I like to go in with the Revolution Brow Pencil. This is in shade Dark Brown and it's a really fine tip pencil so it's really easy to just add little strokes now i don't like to do a full shaded brow i just add little tiny hair strokes in the sparse areas which are around the front and on the tail just to make them appear a little bit fuller but still look really natural can you see the difference in just adding a little bit more definition in this one compared to this one for my eyelashes i just like to go in and curl them i don't apply mascara for this look just because again i like it to look really like fresh just rolled out of bed but somehow look put together type of vibe now this isn't very attractive to do but wait until you see the results from curling my eyelashes okay look at the difference wow look at those lashes compared to these ones curling your lashes can make the world of difference and i don't even feel like they need mascara at all because they look curled it looks like i've just had an lvl it is my favorite little hack for making myself look more awake and more presentable when i really truly don't and there is the other eye done the difference is crazy for my lips i'm gonna go in with mac saw liner i really like going in with a pinky liner especially with this makeup look because when your natural lips are a pinky colour, I feel like brown can be a bit strong and a bit heavy. So this really lovely pink colour is so easy to blend in with whatever you put on your lip.
I also try to stick to my natural lip shape and don't really overline, which I would usually do for a full face of makeup. Um, just because again, I want it to look more natural and blendable. So I just keep to the natural shape. And then to make it look even more natural, I just go in with my finger. Your finger is honestly your best tool when it comes to makeup in my opinion. Like I just think everything blends so much easier. So I just kind of like pat it in so it's less harsh around the lip line. Then another trusty Old Faithful, which I've spoke to you all about so many times, is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. I've actually got another one here. I've got one in my handbag and I've got one on my bedside table. I have these everywhere and in the car actually because these are my favourite things in the world. I use them for everything. Dry skin. So I get dry eyelids, so like dry eyelids I use this dry lips, anything, use this. Even sometimes like if I'm in the car and my hair's a mess so I wanna quickly put it up, sleek it. Use a little bit of this to tame your flyaways. It is so multifunctional, I can't even put into words. So I just like to take a little bit and apply this on my lip. I also sometimes use this as highlighter when I'm wearing no makeup on top of my moisturizer, I'll just dab it where I did the Iconic. And last but certainly not least is Satin Spray. So even though this is not a lot of makeup really and it's all obviously cream based, I do still like to make sure that I set it because I haven't got the powder to keep it in place. And I just think it feels nice to set it all in place with a Satin Spray. One I've been loving at the minute is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Satin Spray. Again, we like the dewy fix at the end. Another favourite of mine is the urban decay all night of vitamin c so i'll leave that link down below as well because that is a setting spray which works wonders i've spoke about that so many times as well on my channel but these two are definitely my faves also the bottle of this is just gorgeous like having this sat out on your dressing table just stunning so i'll just spritz this all over my face give my face a fan until it dries and that is the finished look, guys. Honestly, this is my favourite makeup right now. When I do a full face, I just don't feel like me. And I feel like this glass skin, clean girl aesthetic is something that I can definitely get on board with. And I just love. So I've got my hair mask in, got my makeup done. And I'm ready to go to Nando's and go to the cinema. Again, thank you so much to Look Fantastic for sponsoring this video. I love Look Fantastic so much and they are literally my one-stop shop so I'll leave everything that I've showed you today linked down below in the description. I'll leave my code on screen again and as always I will see you in the next one. Bye!